Hello everyone and welcome, welcome back to Rival Stars Horse Racing where we are out on a quick ride with Erratic Edge who has been winning so many races lately you guys. Oh my gosh, with Cafe Princess currently waiting to go ahead and have her newest pull, we have been working with Erratic Edge and thankfully they have blasted us through all sorts of new races bringing fame and fortune to Butterfly Trails Horse Ranch and making it so that we can go ahead, oh look at this cute little boy. All right, this is actually really fun just doing a quick ride around and I'm actually I've fallen in love with erotic edge cafe princess is still kind of like the brand of our our wonderful horse ranch because she's really the one who represents like the spotty coats we're going for and she really represents some of the endurance and the legacy of the horses that we have had but erotic edge has come in kind of by accident and she has really come to take a place amongst our horses so i've been really happy to work with her also this is a very very cool place i really like doing this ride with them look at how beautiful she is but all right it's time to go ahead and quit our little ride around the uh, beauty of butterfly trails horse ranch just for now and carry on with our goals which includes meeting a new foal you guys cafe princess is ready to have her foal i have no idea what this one's going to look like but we are hoping that maybe maybe we can start reaching to level six horses let's go ahead and see Wine. You don't look anything like what I thought you would. Oh, and she is level five. Darn. Okay, well, she's really adorable. We're going to go ahead and we are actually going to need to sell a horse, unfortunately, uh, so that we have a little bit of room here. And we're actually going to sell Distant Darling. She is one who I meant to clear out before. She's really, really sweet. She's very beautiful. But Teramisu kind of has the markings we're going for. And that means that now we have a little bit of room for anchovy news! <laughs> Why not? Why not? It means we have a little bit of room for anchovy news to go ahead and come on in. And she is rank 5, which is awesome, but we're going for rank 6. So we're actually going to go ahead and we are going to have anchovy news, who likes middle position, end up being... Uh, sold and I think oh sweet so we just sold a middle position horse yes so we have now completed basically everything let's complete the story quest first just in case anchovy news ends up fulfilling one of the story quest all right so from Sophie oh and by the way I completed a quest with TJ and it turns out TJ's girlfriend was a boyfriend and that's why he was being so shy about bringing his boyfriend over but everyone was really great and Sophie said that they looked great together so I thought that was really sweet but all right, Sophie, I've been looking ahead to the upcoming races and reckon we should breed a powerful horse. We're going to need it. And we have our grade five horse and we have it raced a lot. Mate, that's one powerful horse. I've even impressed myself. I know, right? Cafe Princess is amazing. And so is her at a edge, but we didn't breed her. Uh, and then, oh, not this guy again. And then we have Crowd Pleaser. A buyer is looking for a horse that doesn't mind being a little crowded. So we do have our middle preference there. I think the buyer will be quite happy with this horse. Sad to see it go myself. There we go, there we go, getting some good grain. And then we also have been working on racing uh, our horses and becoming more famous. It's good to see we haven't gotten too cocky. We just need to keep fighting the good fight. Why do we need to fight against like Calthrope at all? He's just a troubled, like middle-aged man going through a life crisis because his parents probably didn't love him they just loved money like do you think you can take me on at breaker bay not on your life so raise your rifle at breaker bay and place third or better all right i'm gonna think about it dude but i'm i'm busy here oh we're really close to level 11 actually we've got a very persistent client who only wants a well-trained racehorse sell a horse with speed stat 112 or above all right do we have a horse like that because that's going to be a little hard. We have Cafe Princess. What about Outlaw Chase? One speed stat 112 or above. Oh, he wants one of my, like, really good horses. Are you kidding me? Like, Erratic Edge. Does she have 112? Yeah, she has 112. But that means we need to train a level 5 horse up to that level. And then we can sell them. Oh my gosh, I guess in Chovy News we could go ahead and try training to that level and selling her. Because like I said, I'm kind of att attached to Erotic Edge now. Huh. But we also need to race our rival at Breaker Bay and place third or better. So let's check that race real quick. Alright, rival race. 
Erratic Edge apparently has the best odds. Ooh, Cafe Princess. Oh, maybe if I trained her. Oh, all right. So Cafe Princess, she does like the hard track, but so does Erratic Edge. Like they're very identical that way. Uh, and Cafe Princess prefers shorter distances, I think or longer distances, so Erotic Edge might actually have what it takes. And they are fully trained. <sighs> All right, well, let's place a bet that we're gonna place in the top two, because Erotic Edge has been winning over, giving us an edge on the competition, you could say. Gosh, it's been a while since I've had to run a race myself. I'm gonna do my best. <laughs> Rival is always going to beat us, I think, but I'm gonna do my best otherwise. Gates are open oh. and they're off. Sorry, Erratic Edge. Began with a rush. Erratic Edge has had a tardy start. Holy cow, this has gotten a lot faster than our horses used to be. Alright, let's go ahead and try to push our way over. Okay, we're gonna really need to like shove our way through here. Oh man. Okay, we're gonna need to like dart ahead. We're in the middle of the pack, which is where Erratic Edge wants to be. Dang it! Okay. There we go. Here's our rival. Okay, now we're finally hugging the railings. Oh no, I don't think we're gonna recover our stamina in time! Oh, we're not gonna recover our stamina in time! Oh, here it is! Preferred position! The races have gotten a lot harder, you guys! <laughs> Come on, Erratic Edge, give us this edge! You can do it! Okay, she's doing so good, you guys. I wonder if Cafe Princess is just, like, we could say she's becoming a little old for this. She really, she's really more focusing on reading now. Alright, alright. We're gonna start dashing ahead soon. Oh no, I lost my advantage. Okay, we're gonna want to go ahead and... Let's do this! Oh my gosh, I can hear everybody in the background. But as long as we can just... I think our rival... Yeah, rival's still gonna beat us, but yes! We still pulled way ahead of all of the other horses. That's what we were going for. Good job, Erratic Edge! <laughs> yes. the win at the finish. I was really worried about that one. Jeez, he's got a beautiful spotty horse. Why can't we just go ahead and be friends, dude? You've got spotty horses, I've got spotty horses. Oh, he still needs his therapy. So we lost to Sir Drama, but we beat out Hexagon Nation in Painted Quest. <gasps> Dramatic Nurse! Oh, I wonder if that was one of our horses. I told you you wouldn't beat me. Calthrope, I could care less about beating you. And we are definitely in the millionaire like range now. Holy cow. All right, all right. Francis is gonna have very, oh, no, I was gonna say Francis is gonna have angry eyebrows about this, but actually Calthrope's the one with the angry eyebrows. Now you're starting to tick me off. Dude, you came and kicked dirt in my eyes. Don't talk about being ticked off. Funny you do the same to me. Y'all, this is dumb. Like, play yard bullying dumb. Oh no, and now we need to sell that horse with a speed stat of 112 or above. <laughs> Sophie, you're you're like wrecking me here because you're telling me that I probably need to sell like Erotic Edge or I need to go ahead and sell like Cafe Princess. Oh my gosh. But look, Erotic Edge could then, she could have, she could give us the edge, you guys. If we do that, because I think, can I fully train Cafe Princess now that she's done foaling? Uh, so here we go. We can fully train Cafe Princess up. She is identical in stats to Erotic Edge. So there's really not a point in having both of them anymore. And now that Cafe Princess is trained up, she'll be able to like beat Erotic Edge out, I think. Oh no. Oh, Erratic Edge is just a tiny bit faster. Acceleration. <gasps> Erratic Edge has much better acceleration! You guys! I actually think it's better to keep Erratic Edge! <gasps> I don't have it in me! I can't do it! I, I, to sell our girl Cafe Princess? <laughs> you guys, the only way I could do that is if Cafe Princess, like... Oh, but she's like... 
Ah! She's 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 the background upon which we have founded like this millionaire empire. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is really hard to take. And Trovi News, should I just go ahead and train you? Oh, I gotta think about this. I gotta think about this. Um Okay, we need to at least have one full today because I love being able to have at least a few fulls to look at. <sighs> Erratic Edge is really a little bit better, a little bit faster. But she could give us the edge and then we could actually get to like the next level on... You know what, I think she's gonna go ahead and give us the edge. Cafe Princess is our girl and Erratic Edge has like won a special place in my heart for sure. But she could give us this final edge over the competition. So let me go ahead and take some pictures with her. This is really tough. But, you know, we're not about, like, winning. Just for the, the sake of things. Here, we'll have her turn. There you are. Noble erotic edge. Oh my gosh. She's really helped us out so much. Oh, I feel so bad about this. She is a little bit better than Cafe Princess on the racing. Just a bit. Mm. But I think this could be worth it, maybe? I think so. Like, she's got a beautiful pedigree, too. Have we tried breeding her yet? You know what, we'll try breeding her. That's what we'll do. <gasps> oh, okay, I'm going to give myself, like, at least one moment. We're gonna have a, a erratic edge. And then, and armchair, oh my gosh. We're gonna see if we can actually end up with a six, look at that, a level six full. Maybe that's what we need to do now. There's Thumb Tsunami that we could go ahead and breed her with. Blueberry Gooseberry? <laughs> Blueberry Gooseberry was his father? Oh my gosh, he's got a beautiful red coat too. So we could choose from Thumb Tsunami <gasps> or a black horse named Monkey's Cargo. You guys told me that black horses like this are super rare. Oh, okay, we're gonna try that one out. So we're gonna have Monkey's Cargo and then we're gonna come over and I want to have more spotty horses. So let's actually try breeding Surreal Stars with Maybe Thumb Tsunami? Any blueberry gooseberry sounds so much fun. Monkey's Cargo, maybe. Oh, because what if we could get, like, the darker black coat with all of those spots? Okay, we're going to give that a try. All right. I have my fingers crossed. I'm really hoping about that. Now we are breeding Erratic Edge. Um, gosh. And you know what? I think we can go ahead and let Squirrel Sardine go. He's adorable. And he has a few spots, but I think we're, we've kind of narrowed in on a much spottier like lineage at this point. Uh, and also Academic Smash, we'll go ahead and we will sell him too. Beautiful as he is. And then even though it's a ton of money, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to skip the breeding with Erratic Edge and, and see what results. And, and the, the, the result of her full will kind of tell me if we should go ahead and be ready to move on or if we should keep her around for breeding. Oh, what a beautiful full! Oh, I love the mixed coloring! <gasps> a level six cult! Yes! Yes, you guys! Oh my gosh! All right, let's care for him, actually, because we can get his stats even higher! Oh, Mystic Noodle, Breathtaking Bubble, Broken Action, let's see, Turkey Aim, Precious Franchise, Wrong Jester, Luxury Toy, Equine Express, uh, Peril Laughter, uh, let's, Doom Pony, <laughs> oh, Doom Pony, Trouble Trophy, let's see, Flames Teardrop, Flight Dart, Death Amethyst, I love these names so much. Okay, so we have Erratic Edge, Times Ocean. All right, I'm going to roll. Next three names. Superstonic Stone. Ash Dinner. Jumping Journey. I don't like any of those. All right, Extraordinary. Here, we're going to go with Extraordinary Edge. How about that, guys? Extraordinary Edge given to us from Erratic Edge. I think that's perfect. We're going to come in and we're going to actually take care of this foal because that will help us out quite a bit with giving him a big stat boost. And then I think we are going to allow Erratic Edge to, after she raises her son and leaves him behind, to be the one to kind of like go ahead and fulfill that quest requirement. 
of selling a horse that that's high, that, that is that high. Oh, but I think she's done such a great job with her baby. Like, look at this little one. All right, we're gonna hide the sire. Hopefully we'll have um, some fun, noble. There we go, galloping. She's giving us that edge. Oh, the playful. And he's really a beautiful horse. I love the multicolor tail and mane. Oh, all right. But all right, I got to take care of this little guy and make sure that he grows up happy and strong. Uh, and then once he, like, oh, actually, I guess we could hire a caretaker. What does that do? No, I'm just going to feed him myself. You people can't have half my money for being able to play with my adorable foal. Back off. But all right, we will go ahead and work on that. And I might even come over. Um, and if I can get into foaling stables fast enough, I will possibly breed Radish Dreamer with that other black horse. So we could have a strong lineage of black horses in here. And I think that means we will make room with Anchovy News. Going ahead and finding a new home. There we go. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you guys could, do please leave a like for Erratic Edge and all of the amazing abilities that she has been giving us and her amazing new foal. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.